And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Achievement Hunter series. Working our way towards uh, that glorious goal of launching a rocket with only crafting less than 111 items. So far, so good. Uh, however, we're a little low on, on our petroleum gas, so uh, we just finished the advanced oil processing. So we need to jump into cracking. So, that's going to be cracking light oil, and uh, we're going to want to be cracking heavy oil as well. So, this is going to crack heavy oil into light, and this is going to crack light oil into petroleum gas. Now, as you can see, we also need water over here. So, Osirak is actually working on that. So, here he is getting some water on the way over. So, hopefully, we will be good to go there. We could also change out the craft that we're doing here. So I'm going to actually cut that, that pipe off and uh, once this finishes its craft we'll see which which pipe wants water and which pipe wants oil because I always get these messed up. So I'm going to cancel that and do advanced oil processing and look at that. Yep. It's not the right one. So let's uh, take the oil out of here. I always, I always do that. Uh, here. Uh oh. Oh. It's not good. Okay. So over here we have, we have light oil. We have heavy oil. So light oil is going to come right up, go into there. Heavy oil, likewise, is going to go right up into there. So these these are just perfectly spaced. And then we're going to just move the petroleum gas right in directly. So the other thing we're going to want, obviously, is some water over here. So if we... I'm going to take this away. We do two out like that, two out like that. We would be able to link. Oh, see, we can't get in there. So I'm going to take those away, and we're going to do it underground like that. So underground there, there's our water connection. Now, where is he bringing water up? So it looks like water is right here. So if we could line it up with this belt, it's going to come right up right there. It's going to be water, which kind of works out rather, rather nicely. Do you use underground belts? Because uh, underground belts count as basically one belt. So doing this versus this, this will lose pressure four times faster than something like this. Um, so you can stretch an, an underground pipe belt, I keep saying belt, underground pipe quite a ways and not have any problems. So if we want to have more water, let's see how far this goes right in here. And then stretch it even more. I'm going to have him put a pump. You want to put a pump right there? Sure. Since it's kind of close to everything. And so we need to power the pumps, obviously. All right. So now we are cracking the materials down. And we can actually uh, expand on the amount of light oil we are processing uh, if we go up like that uh, although I think I think one might be enough I think maybe not let's see what happens at 15k if that goes up to 15.1 oh yeah so we are definitely going to need two of these um so that means we need one go 
going right there. Get this one there. We need to wrap this around here. So underground from here to here. From here to here. Here to there. And there to there. Now we doubled that up. So now it should be going down. Yeah, I think it's slowly going down. Yep. Good to go. So if we look at our petroleum gas supply, obviously we are not doing so hot. But we're making it way faster than we were before. Way faster. So if we go down to reds. Plus blues have backed up. So that really helps the cause. Hey, look at that. Produce 1,000 advanced circuits per hour. New achievement unlocked. Beautiful. Uh, if we look at our production, we look at red circuits. Look at that. 40 per minute. That's pretty good. So if we look at our achievements that we've got so far, uh, we got 10%. We've earned four already in this one game. Um, I mean, all we need to do, I mean, we build a locomotive. We could do all. We could do a whole bunch of these. Because, uh, uh, you know, I started playing this game long before it was on on Steam, so there were no achievements. There was nothing like that. And since then, since, you know, from, from before it was on Steam, I started using mods. So when it went on Steam, I was already using mods, already used to the game. And using mods disables the ability to get achievements. So I don't have, I don't really have any achievements because of that. And so I wanted to get in here and actually get some of these. Produce one million electronic circuits. That's that's pretty good. Produce twenty million electronic circuits. That's a lot of circuits. Uh, wow, that's that is a crazy high production. We're at eighty-two thousand iron plates per hour right now. That's pretty good. I don't know how you get 400,000 iron plates per hour, but I know my previous series, the the uh, extreme production, we were able to hit that without a problem. So yeah, we got a pretty good supply of red circuits going now. And they're backing up, which is nice. Uh, kind of tones down the whole factory when stuff like that gets backed up. Of course, if we kickstarted another research, it would uh, dial that back a little bit. Um, I don't want to unlock high-tech science packs before I unlock uh, before I unlock the the purples. So I think we need we need electric engines. What else do we need for purples? I think we need engines. Oh, yeah, we need this. Yep, electric furnaces. So we need stone brick for these uh, for the production science pack, the purple guys. So that's an engine, an assembly machine one, and an electric furnace to make these. And you get two of them at a time, which is nice, but they're still horrifically expensive. Uh, so the first thing we need is electric engines, and those are nice because those are just red and greens. Uh, we'll be able to get, we'll be able to knock those out um, without without messing with our plastic or our red circuits really at all, which will be nice. So we need to think ahead here. Electric engines we need lubrication for. Well, we're gonna need. To come up here and pull from our heavy oil. So I'm going to cut off heavy oil cracking. I know it's it's messy, 
it's not a good idea but I'm gonna cut that off for now uh, and uh, the conversion ratio is I mean it's just it's pretty simple you need 10 to 10 so it's a one-to-one -one conversion between heavy oil and lubricant and uh, we're just gonna pull heavy oil right off of right off of there and we're gonna just create lube lots and lots of it so I'm still trying to avoid this copper I'm assuming we're probably gonna want to pull that copper at some point so let's just push push that in to uh, lubrication and however much lube we get is gonna be what we're gonna be using um, do you think us that we're gonna want to move the barrels of lube instead of pumping it trying to pump it places Boy, that might be a little easier. Which? Uh, oh, barreling it up. That's okay. probably a good idea. Just do it manually for now. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have inputs and outputs. And this, we're going to need to fill lubricant barrel. So it's just going to fill these up. Granted, there's a lot of lube fits in one barrel 250 lube fits in a barrel uh, we're only making it 10 at a time granted it's only a second so in a minute uh, we're making what 600 yeah 600 lube every minute that we're actually making uh, which is using 600 heavy oil a minute and when we're making this stuff uh, we're not actually making we're making 10 every five seconds so that is 200 a minute yeah I think that's right so we're making 200 heavy oil a minute so 200 lubricant a minute is all we're gonna be able to make uh, once once that heavy oil runs out unfortunately So we also need a crafter for barrels. I'm working on building a bunch. Okay. I think we, at the most, we need 200. So. Exactly how many I queued up. Oh, right. Because, I mean, 100, that's 250 a piece. That's like 25,000. What is that? Right? Is that right? 25,000? Or is that 250,000? Pretty sure it's 25,000. Too many zeros. Not used to, I'm used, not used to numbers that big. All right, looks like our blue, uh, blue system has calmed. The, all the assemblers are calm and quiet. And now our plastic is going gangbusters. I kind of want uh, I kind of want to balance this a little bit, so we're going to steal from that. Like that. That is a good balancer right there. Keeps everything nice and tidy. And make sure both sides of the belt are used. And all that kind of fun stuff. Is that yeah we have just one side of the belt being used right now because for some reason I don't, know, I don't know why this is I don't know why the developers did this when inserters put onto a belt they put onto the far side of the belt but when they pull off of a belt they always pull off the inside of the belt I, I don't know why that I don't know why there's a, there's a discrepancy between the two um, yeah, I, I don't know why they did that, but it is what it is. Kind of got to live with it. Got to do with it what we want. All right, electric engines are finished. So, where do we want to do engines? Electric engines. I think we want to do those down here. Sounds like a good plan. Um, 
And these also are pretty long craft, another 10 seconds. But they use 15 lubricant a piece. Now remember, we're going to be only be able to make at most 200 lubricant every minute. So six of these uh, would be would be 30, 60, 90, 120 lubricant. So like eight would be 30 times four. Right? No. 30, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, that's 8. 10 would be 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. So like 12 electric engine units is about all we'll be able to handle. And I'm, I'm assuming we're never going to be able to uh, m uh, get to blue belt with this. <laughs> And yeah, these are actually, okay, how are we going to do lube? Because each one of these needs to lube. Let's think about this for a second. So if we do a space in between two, four, six, and then one, two, let's see, one, two, three, twelve, like that. And then these are going to be the engines. Oh, got to got to reach over here. So I'm going to rotate these, then shift rotate these. Oop. All right. So the lube we can pull in. How about we do the lube on the bottom? Because we don't have very much room up on top. I and mean, we could, oh, I think we might be able to sneak it in. If we do it like right here, like empty, empty barrel. But how are they all going to connect to one another? That's, that's just it, is there's no way to connect each one of these. So if they're all going to be down here, we have the space that we can then... these undergrounds yeah I was just sketching it out like that I think that will work just fine that's good and then the inside here see we have two items that need to come in electronic circuits and engine unit elect or uh, yeah engine units so uh, we're gonna have them share a belt And the circuits, hmm, where can we do the circuits at? So what is our two circuits a piece? So it's basically one circuit every five seconds. We have 12 of these. So that's 12 circuits every five seconds. which is well over a circuit a second. It's, it's uh, so we need at least two circuit producing systems. So like here and here with the copper there. So we're gonna have to space these a little differently. Uh, we can do copper Here and here, and then circuits maybe here and here. No, or that won't work. Place them right, uh, right here and there, with, and then just load them straight onto the belt. With copper behind. Oh yeah, that's what you had already. Hmm. Yeah, we need we need copper cable to come in there. Could move it down here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking we're going to have to do, because uh, we can load, 
we can pull the engine units underground them and put them on this side of the belt and then do the circuits over here uh, so let's give ourselves ample space because we need to bring iron up too so here one two three here copper so output will go here iron will go here and here so there so the engine units can come in here circuits will come in on this side so this will be the ground here this will be iron coming in this will be copper right there I'm missing yep missing the bus or missing the input okay so copper copper circuits circuits iron iron sure I got this recipe right for some reason I thought it was way more complex than that but apparently not which makes me a little happier so if we need the space I can uh, rotate these back like this you can come down oh. can come down and load them like that and uh, that will make it so we don't have to combine them up in here. Which saves us a little bit of heartache. Because uh, then we can load them closer to this edge. Which doesn't really matter anyway. But allows us to then build whatever we need to build out here with the electric engines. Which is uh, going to be mainly, mainly purple science. Now that our whole base is pretty much gone to sleep, I think I'm going to wake it up uh, with the big 250 research here. And yeah, that's going to be crazy. There we go. Couple more power poles that I need. Oh, no, you can come. And we have two crates. One goes in, one goes out. So Iron. Copper. There we go. Pretty much all we need for glorious electric engine units so nice here they go why are you not building oh you need lube I'm boy there it is glorious all right well that'll have to do it for this episode and i thank you for watching 
and I will see you next time.